I am so thrilled and grateful that the channel has crossed the 2,000 subscribers mark. It took a lot of hard work and was a pretty steep learning curve to get here. Um, I think I've improved quite a bit since my very first video I uploaded to YouTube. And all of you supportive viewers have really helped pave the way for me to reach this threshold. So let's talk channel news, future plans, and a giveaway as my way of saying thanks to all of you. Okay, I'm wishing that I kept my super sweet Y2K New Year's glasses for this occasion. <laughs> would have been nice for me to have some sort of 2000 bling here. One of those times when being a pack rat really would have come in handy. But I'm doing the best I can here. I got out of my track pants, I put on a nice necklace, so let's celebrate together. So let's talk statistics. It took me about 10 months to get from my very first YouTube upload to the 1000 subscriber mark. My goal was to do it in a year, so I was really excited that that goal was reached a little bit early. And actually the second 1000 subscribers came a lot quicker than I expected. Yay, good surprise. It took less than four months to get to 2000 subs. So thank you, you guys. For everyone who has subscribed or shared one of my videos, spread the word about the channel, I really owe you a debt of gratitude. And it's my goal to keep you here, to keep making videos that you're interested in and content you find valuable and that will make your day a little bit brighter each and every time you watch. So now I'm wondering like, can I keep the momentum going? Like, could I keep cutting that time in half? Maybe I can get to 3000 subscribers in two months? I don't know guys, a girl can dream, right? And I know, I know it's not all about the numbers and I'm not a numbers obsessed person, except when it comes to keeping a budget and saving money. However, if you want to kind of make a job out of being on YouTube, the numbers are a little bit important. Anyway, keep listening because in a little bit, I'm gonna share with you what I'm going to be giving away for free to one of you viewers as a celebration of this milestone. And I'm really excited to share it with you. But first, some odds and ends to discuss. So a question that you might be asking, and um, maybe you're not asking it at all, and I'm just gonna ask it anyway, but it could be, Jen, what have been some of your more successful or popular videos in the recent past? Well, funny story, for the longest time, my most successful videos were videos that I never expected hardly anybody to watch. So it was a little shocking. For example, there was one salad dressing recipe video I made that I was just trying to make a quick video to kind of fill my quota of videos for the week. And um, apparently a lot of people like that video, tens of thousands of people like this video that is my mom's secret mayo-based salad dressing recipe. <laughs> I'll link it for you in case you want to watch it, but like honestly, I did not take that much time to put into it. My husband had made a suggestion, well, why don't you do like a quick five minute video that's just real quick takes and just something simple. So I gave it a try and wow, success. So that has been always one of my most popular videos, which is kind of humorous to me. And the next most popular video all this whole past year is almost embarrassing for me. Um, it's, an, it's, it's not embarrassing because of the topic, but um, it's a video all about the realities of adopting in Canada. If you didn't know, I'm an adoptive mom from Canada. Um, it's embarrassing because it is legitimately the first YouTube video I ever filmed or edited. So it wasn't the first one I uploaded, but it was my first one I filmed and edited. And I was actually considering not even uploading it because I didn't like how I looked in it. I didn't like what I had to say, but I uploaded it anyway. And holy cow, a, a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot are interested in this topic, liked this video and have commented on it. But it's been kind of embarrassing because the sound quality was really poor. I didn't have a microphone yet. The music was too loud. I didn't smile very much during the video, so it came across as really serious and a bit negative. I got a lot of feedback that I was being far too negative in my realism. And um, <laughs> there's been many times where I'm like, I feel like I should take this video off of YouTube because I really am not proud of exactly how it turned out. But you know what? Failures and successes, I think we learn from them both and perhaps we learn the most from things we think we didn't do well. And I am keeping that up on the channel. I'll link it in case you wanna go back and watch it. And I think it just shows the progression of the channel from the very baby moments of the channel until now and how I've grown um, in front of the camera, 
through editing and my content planning. So I'm keeping it up there, but I hope that some of my other videos might surpass it in views soon. But the biggest shocker of the year has been this video right here. This video was particularly made for parents or grandparents, aunts and uncles of tween boys. And just my suggestions of Christmas presents to get them. When I posted this video, I looked at the analytics 24 hours later and I was like, well, that went over like a lead balloon. <laughs> Hardly anybody watched it, like maybe a couple dozen. It was not a popular video among you subscribers, which is totally fine. I realize that not everybody is interested in that topic. And I thought, okay, I just cut my losses. I'm not gonna try anything like that again. And then in a couple days, I went on to my YouTube analytics and for some reason that video was getting more and more views. Like it was getting like 100 views a day, which is pretty high for me. Then it was getting 200 views a day, then 500 views a day then eight, 900 views a day more recently. And as I'm filming this, it has had over 6,000 views in just a few weeks. The funny and shocking part about this though is that people watching this video are not parents, caregivers, family members of tween boys. Guess who's watching this video? Tween boys. And let me tell you, tween boys are merciless in their comments, like so, so rude. I've referenced this on social media. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, but I've referenced just like brutal. And I've got pretty thick skin. I can take it. I've got six kids, but the stuff they're writing, like it could be anything from my appearance to my personality, to my voice, to the fact that they didn't like the ideas I gave because they didn't involve a screen and batteries. Quite a number of people calling me a Karen or, or I bet this girl's like a Trump 2020 girl. Let's just set the record straight here. I come from a multi-ethnic, very diverse family that is left leaning. So it was really hilarious to read comments that were calling me a Trump 2020 white Karen, you know? <laughs> and yes, I am white, clearly, but it, it's just hilarious. Like this was not a video intended for any of those viewers that were leaving really rude comments. So if you have the time, I'm gonna link that video. And apparently those people commenting missed the fact that it says kind comments only please in my description. So feel free to head over there and leave a kind comment because I have deleted, I am not exaggerating, hundreds and hundreds of super negative, rude, abusive comments from that video. So guys, let's turn the tide here. Let's make this a positive space in our comments. By the way, as an aside, that's another thing I've learned being online this year about negativity. It seems like people have been coming out of the woodwork to private message me their criticisms about things I have to say or how I said it or whatever. Um, okay, I'm, I, I mean, I guess you feel that way, but what I'm trying to do here is create a space of kindness and learning from each other. And I just, you know, in case you didn't know, people don't really appreciate receiving private messages full of criticisms. I mean, I don't know. I, that, that could be mind blowing information to you, or maybe it's not, but when my inbox and emails fill up and my private messages on social media um, get hit with people kind of critical of various things, um, I'm at a point now, I'm in my late thirties where I'm not a people pleaser as much anymore. And yeah, it, it hurts and I might lose sleep over a few comments, but more than likely, all you're doing is causing yourself stress and anxiety by being a critical negative person when you didn't need to be. Anyway, that's my little aside of lessons I've learned this year. And I so, so, so appreciate the many, many viewers on this channel who like you guys post such encouraging things. You post little like pieces of advice from your own life and personal anecdotes. I love that. I love connecting with so many of you that have made this community what it is so far. And I hope we can just, you know, capitalize on that and blow that up going forward into the next year that can just be continue to be a kind, loving, fun space. Okay, goal for this year coming up, I want to try to play around with some of the new features on YouTube. One of them being video premieres. Have any of you guys tried this out before or seen another YouTube creator do it? Basically, it's if you have a video, like normally my videos go live Mondays and Thursdays. So when your video is scheduled to go live, you would create a premiere 
event and you would let your subscribers know that this video is premiering at this time on this day. And then when it premieres, you as the creator and all your viewers can go watch it at the same time together and be chatting together while you're watching it. I think it's really neat. It's a really cool idea. I don't know, maybe you guys wouldn't be interested in that. But if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments below because I think that might be something fun we could try together. Or I could take this even further. This is something I've never done before, but are you interested in me doing a live video? So perhaps like a Q&A or something that we could go live, you guys could be asking me your questions in the sidebar and I could just be having a great chat with you guys all, maybe like a one hour live video. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I'm a little fearful to try it because I've never done it before. But I mean, a little over a year ago, I had never filmed edited or upload videos before either so I think I could probably figure out the live feature <laughs> okay now on to the topic I know you've all been waiting for and that is the giveaway well I thought long and hard about this and I decided I want to give away an item that you guys have seen me use over and over again and that has been featured in several of my videos and that is my bamboo recipe book stand. I absolutely love this thing. You guys have probably seen it in some of my cooking videos. In particular, my video about my one month journey cooking my way through the Magnolia Table Cookbook. I will put the Amazon link for this recipe book holder down below in case you don't win it, but you still wanna get it for yourself. The reason I love it, first of all, it's made of bamboo, a renewable resource. Second of all, it is adjustable, so I can adjust the height depending on where I want it for my eye line, if I'm sitting or if I'm standing. It has arms that come up and down for putting over top of the pages of your recipe book, or if you don't need the arms, you put them back down. It also folds up really easily for storage. Maybe you saw this in my kitchen purge decluttering video, but I decided I needed to create a space on my countertop and put my coffee maker in storage and have this recipe book holder out instead all the time so that I could see it and enjoy it. That's how much I like this. By the way, my kids have also been using it to put their iPad up on when we are doing at-home learning on the days we've had to do that. And it just saves their posture from leaning down over the device. They can sit up and look at it and work on it. So like it's for more than just recipe books. If you would like to be entered into the draw to win this recipe book stand, this contest is going to be live for two full weeks. So check down below, check what date I published this video. This will be live for two weeks. Make sure first of all that you're 16 years of age or older. Second, you need to be a public subscriber to this channel. So if you've been along for the ride, you've watched several of my videos before, please join the community, click that red subscribe button and stay subscribed so that you can see lots of my future content past the time of the announcement of the winner for this contest. Next, I want you to migrate below and pop that like button and then leave me a comment. What are you gonna comment? What I want you to leave as your comment is, what has been your favorite video or series of videos of mine in the past couple months? So the reason I want you guys all to comment that is because that will help direct me in creating content going forward because I can see what do you guys really like and kind of want to see more of from me. So pop that in the comments below. Don't forget this piece because I know a lot of people, I can always tell if they've only watched maybe the first part of my video or they press stop and commented before they heard the full instructions because they might just say, congratulations in the comment. Well, you don't get entered into the draw if you just write congratulations. I need to see that you have written what your favorite video has been of mine in the past number of months. Thank you for following along on this journey with me, you guys. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for clicking on my videos. Thank you for, you know, watching the ads, which helps the channel out. There are so many things I'm thankful for from you guys. So I'm gonna link some of those videos that are kind of outliers and surprising front runners on my channel in case you wanted to watch them for yourself. Maybe you can figure out why they're so popular. I don't know, but I'm gonna link some of them for you in case you wanted to watch them. And we will see you guys next time. For the least, this is Jen.